Kyle Parrish with Area One Security. I want to start with a, a quick story. I uh, watched an event not too long ago with Al Gore, and Al Gore was talking about how humans have really screwed up the environment with uh, uh, global climate change. But he was hopeful because he thought that we could change, reverse climate change. Uh, and that was really impressive to me. That, that, that's a great human innovation. That's something really impressive that humans can do. The next person that followed Al Gore was the CEO of a major cybersecurity company. And he basically said, we're all screwed. Cybersecurity is here to stay. The best thing you can do is just buy a bunch of software to protect yourself against it. And I thought, those two don't match. Humans have done so much in our history. Uh, some of these are shown here that solving cybersecurity shouldn't even be in the top 100 things that we do. It was just incredible to me that, that we can send a man to the moon with less computing power than what you guys all have in your pockets right now, but we can't solve cybersecurity. So that's what Area One does. This is the front page of our website. We stop phishing. If marketing would let me, it would say, we stop the phishing attacks that nobody else can stop, but that doesn't read like we stop phishing. So there you have it. Why do we do this? Why do we focus on phishing? Because we are myopically focused on this one problem. Well, this one problem happens to be the biggest problem in cybersecurity today. 95% of all breaches, 95% of all damages come from phishing. And it goes by a lot of different names, but it's all phishing. There's 200 variants of the common cold, but you only take one thing to solve the common cold, right? You don't take 200 different things. Uh, so it goes by a lot of names, but it's all phishing to us. And there's a lot of technology out there that purports to stop phishing already. Uh, but unless you purpose build something to stop phishing specifically, you're just not going to get it right. There's technology out there in like secure email gateways and anti-spam filters that are fantastic at doing the job that they were built to do. They were built 20 years ago to stop spam. And spam and phishing are completely polar opposite problems. Spam is a problem of a lot of volume, not necessarily malicious. It's just annoying. It's unwanted commercial email. While phishing is very targeted, very small in pattern, and very malicious, it's, it's much harder to stop with the algorithms that they've built to stop spam. And education, cybersecurity education, phishing education specifically, is one of the fastest growing uh, sectors of cybersecurity right now. But you can't eradicate phishing by training the user. Some of these phishing campaigns are so sophisticated and so good that the human eye just can't tell the difference. And so we believe that that's ineffective. And perimeter defenses are phenomenal at what they do, proxies, firewalls, and the like. But you have to tell them what to do. And so they're just reactive in nature. And by this point in the presentation, I always get, how are you guys different? We're different across these three pillars. Preemptive, comprehensive, and accountable. Preemptive to us is doing something that nobody else is doing right now with respect to phishing technology or phishing uh, uh, investigation. We're going out onto the internet to see where these campaigns are being built. In order for a phishing campaign to be realistic, it needs to look like what it's purporting to be. And that acts like software development. It gets built, it gets tested, it gets QA'd. And in that time that it's doing that, we will have gone and crawled that site, seen that there's malicious content behind it, tagged it as a phishing site before a single email has been sent out against that campaign. So we have this uh, pre-vision of where these things are coming from. And we do that with a combination of our active sensor network and our sparse data warehouse. The active sensor network is that uh, high-speed crawler network. And the sparse uh, stands for small pattern analytics engine, is about a five petabyte data warehouse of attack infrastructure that we've built up. So we know what attacks have looked like in the past, what they look like now. And with our ML and AI models, we're predicting what attacks are going to look like in the future. And the comprehensive nature of our product is, is also really important because most of the things that I've talked about so far are around email phishing. But we've seen that there's an increase in both web and network phishing that's going on a lot more. And without a comprehensive approach on web, email, and network, it's just incomplete. I'd love to talk to you guys all about the product a little bit more at the back. I have plenty of time. Uh, I love this stuff. Uh, but there's one more thing. And that's maybe the sexiest part of this entire company. And it has nothing to do with our product. It's not an innovation, but we consider it a business innovation because we're the only ones doing this in cybersecurity. We are completely accountable to the performance of our product. We are completely performance-based. We only charge for malicious detections when we make them. So you can sit behind existing layers of defense, and we will catch the things that they miss. And we only charge when we catch stuff. 
So there's no upfront time commitment. There's no upfront cost commitment. We try to make it as easy on our customers to do this because we know that they've been inundated with a ton of cybersecurity already that either doesn't work or isn't performance-based. And so they're stuck. They're stuck paying these bills when they don't have to uh, with Area 1. We go one step further, actually, and we give our customers price protection in a maximum or a cap that if they were to get hit with a lot of fish in a year, that we would, that we would only charge them up to a certain amount. We call this pay per fish. It's very easy. It's $10 per malicious detection, and that's it. It's really that simple. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.